younger than one great user. We are ready to head inside Pizza Hut Stadium. It's Jay Wall. It's fancy for the right to get to the LCQ final. TD, they're three wins away from a spot in the Madden Bowl. Yeah, I'm excited for this matchup. I know everyone in the chat must be excited to the brightest stars. And the, I think the difference in this game, we're, we gotta, they got to do something different. Like I said earlier, you know, these guys know each other so well. They're going to have to do something. And Jay Wall, like we talked about, he switched to that Mike Vick on offense because everyone's seen him with Eli Manning and Hot Route Master. But now he has Vick with Hot Route Master still, but all that speed. He can scramble. So we'll see if that's a – he doesn't have a lot of reps with that Mike Vick. So we'll see if, if, if it costs him or if it plays uh, dividends in coming up with a victory. Yeah, Ty, we've actually seen throughout the MCS guys switch quarterbacks, uh, and sometimes you see it be really beneficial. It seems to fit them, gives them a new wrinkle, but we have seen the other side where some a quarterback you've labbed with a lot, a play style you've labbed with a lot, all of a sudden it switches and you just look uncomfortable. Yeah, comfortability, comfortability is so key in Madden. Before talent, before strategy, you got to be comfortable within your offense, comfortable with your personnel, what you're doing. So, you know, Jay Wall's been so good sitting in the pocket with that Eli Manning, and now he can get out, kind of get out of the pocket with Mike Vick, which can be great, but it can also cause little problems if you're so used to sitting in the pocket, and now you kind of get, you know, happy feet and want to roll out a lot. So it's a big decision on Jay Wall's part, and I can't wait to see, you know, how it turns out for him. Yeah, you want to talk about contrasting building. We're in the salary cap mode, team building so important. Uh, just contrasting thoughts. Uh, Fancy spends 40 cap on his quarterback with Eli Manning. Jay Wall spends 132 cap with the golden ticket Vic. <laughs> yeah, huge difference. But Fancy's comfortable with that Eli Manning. That's why we said he's very popular because he doesn't cost a lot of cap. He has that quick release. He's able to get hot route master. And he's really good with those four receivers. Both these guys no, using no tight end, four receivers on their teams. Yeah, you look at the offenses for both these guys. Very similar builds for J Wall, Hollywood Brown, Josh Cribbs, Tyree Kill, and John Ross. I mean... There's a lot of speed out there. You, you, you notice a theme with these TNC guys, uh, Ty. They love putting the speedsters out there at wide receiver. Yeah, well, how long has it been? I mean, speed is the most important aspect in Madden. It's been like that since ever since I started playing. I mean, we would use guys back in, you know, Madden 11. There was a guy on the Raiders, uh, Derek Brown. He was a safety. He was like 6'4", 97 speed, but he was like 60 overall. <laughs> you know what I mean? So overall is important these days, but speed is still, in my opinion, the number one factor when it comes to competitive Madden. Jay Wall going to be rocking those Detroit Lions uniforms, not shy about his Lions fandom. Fancy sticking with the Dallas Cowboys. Said, ready. Said he's been all around Dallas. He's lived in McKinney and Frisco. Now he's in the Dallas area. And all around that North Texas area. Let's get this bad boy underway. Let's see who's going to take on Decroft for a spot in the Madden Bowl. Manning first down and 10. Hey, Jay Wall. He's going to introduce Fancy to the second round with a sack from Jair Alexander. That's been the issue for Fancy. We saw in the first game versus Justin. He cannot pick up this heat. Jay Wall in this 2-3-6 will. It's a very good defense. You can kind of bring the guys off the edge and put your linebackers. It's very hard to pick up. Goes to a coverage look here. Ooh, great defense. Look right side. And uh, listen, Marvin Harrison is a legend. But I don't care how good you are. It's tough to catch those, uh, those dirt balls with your feet. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Fancy trying to go to the crosser route right there. J-Wall all over it. A big third and 18 already. Let's see if J-Wall brings the heat again here. Blitzing his linebackers. Fancy got to be able to pick this up. Looks like we're going to go coverage defense. Lurking on that Taylor Mays. Pressure. Looking left side. Picked off. Oh, Fancy did that plenty in the first game against Justin. This time the tables have turned. The former Buckeye, Marshawn Lattimore, with the interception. Yeah, Fancy hesitated a little bit too much right there. Moved forward in the pocket, got that weird animation where the camera view kind of zoomed in. He threw that crosser. J-Wall clicks on with a big pick. And back-to-back -back games now, Fancy on his first drive, really struggling throwing picks. He's got to clean that up. Uh, it, he's, he's played good defense, so, you know, we'll see what he can do. But now J-Wall uh, in that Oakland playbook as well. We're going to see a very similar offense. He's going to come out uh, in that gun tight. Uh, slots weak formation as well with the four receivers, but he's going to audible to that trips tight end a lot more than uh, Fancy does. Yeah, we, we, we were talking with Jay Wall and we asked him who is his most important player on the field. It seemed like an obvious answer. He said Michael Vick, 99 overall, uh, absolute 
I mean, you talk about a guy, TD, who has been a staple in Ultimate Team for years at this point and has been consistently the best player. Definitely. Mike Vick has been the best player in Madden for over 10 years now. Even before Ultimate Team was in the game and we were playing reg regular teams, you know, back in Madden 07 th through 10. I mean, he, he's always been the best. We'll see what Jay Wall can do with him. First down and 10 for Jay Wall and Michael Vick stepping up, looking right side. He finds Tyree Kill. A little crossing route right at the sidelines. Beautiful throw from the former Hokie, and they're going to hurry back to the line. And that gun tight slots week three wide receivers. Hollywood Brown, Tyree Kill, and Josh Cribbs. And that's not a tight end on the right side of the formation. That's John Ross, the, the Cincinnati Bengal speed demon. How about the hitch route? It's off his helmet, almost picked off by Lattimore. Oh, 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 risky, kind of unfortunate. Goes off the helmet. J-Wall going to one of the best route combos in Madden 20. That hitch with the post coming behind it really stresses the user, really allows you to, uh, you know, kind of uh, manipulate the zone defense. But unfortunate break and fancy must be hitting himself. He couldn't come up with that big pick. J-Wall going to the trips tight end now. Second down and 10. Brown in motion, three-man rush. Vic down the seam, Tyree Hill makes the catch, takes a couple hits, but holds on to it at the 15-yard line. The air attack for Jay Wall rolling early. Jay Wall loves the seams. He's always thrown to the seams uh, with his slot receiver in the trips tight end. Sometimes you'll see him go to the tight end as well in the seams. Nice read right there, fits it in on the streak route. Uh, no zones back there uh, far, far enough, and Jay Wall with a nice completion. Jerrell said his keys to this game, he said, since I'm playing three of my friends, I've tried to add some new things they haven't seen before, specifically my quarterback singling out that switch to Michael Vick, but he said he needs to clean up red zone to make sure he gets seven consistently. Well, he's inside the red zone right now at the 15-yard line. He's going to try to run with Michael Vick, but fancy ready for that one. He says, you can switch quarterbacks all you want. I know how to deal with a running quarterback with some pretty good defensive end in Carlos Dunlap. Yeah, good defense right there. Jay Wall going to a little route swap uh, action, trying to get a little QB design run with Mike Vick. Uh, fancy all over it, knows what's coming. Like we said, these guys know each other so well, all over it in the backfield for a big loss. By the way, Jay Wall's coming off a Friday night football victory last night. That's right, he was playing in tournaments last night, even with the LCQ on the horizon. So he's feeling good right now, sliding down with Vick, picking up one. Yeah, cool decision last night by Jay Wall. You know, it can kind of be a 50-50 thing. It's like, do you want to have momentum? Do you want to keep playing good reps? Uh, he ended up getting to the final, so I mean, it kind of paid off for him. But then at the same time, people can kind of see what you're doing. So it's really, you know, what do you do in that situation? But um, knowing Jay Wall, he's a very confident kid. I think he's always uh, thinks he can win no matter what. And uh, big third and 11 here. It's a little quick. We're gonna have a slant post combo. One of the best combos in Madden 20. Looking right side. Oh, Ward almost picked him. Jay Wall can't believe it. He made the catch in tight coverage. He's pumping his fist, saying, Man, I did not deserve that one. Really risky pass right there by Jay Wall. Sneaks it into double coverage. Fancy could have clicked on and made a play. Just a little too late. Oh, right there. Oh, my goodness. Jay Wall, very fortunate to come up with that. First and goal now. Expect to see a little Mike Vick design run again. As a Browns fan, you don't see him, you don't see Denzel Ward miss picks like that too often. I'm just saying that's, that is an inaccurate representation of what Denzel Ward does. That's Michael Vick. It doesn't matter how much speed you have when your offensive line blocks like that. First touchdown on the board for Jay Wall. Great design right there by Jay Wall. Used that row swap ability. Uh, got his uh, jet sweep motion to switch. It allows the quarterback to run, uh, kind of like a broken uh, QB run play. Gets into the end zone, a nice first drive by Jay Wall. He gets that big stop, goes down the field and scores. Got all the momentum now. If there's one thing, though, you know about Jay Wall TD, he loves being on stream, he loves being on camera, and he knows when he is on camera every single time. Even though he's in his own bedroom, he's going to be showing off for the people at home. <laughs> Jay Wall likes to talk a little, and User was saying, you know, he was capping at him when, when User played Manu. Jay Wall, you know, talks a lot on Twitter. This is a kid very confident, like I said. He'll let you know how he feels. Fancy, on the other hand, a little bit of the opposite, very quiet, composed. And uh, let's see what he can do now on his second drive of the game. He's got to pick up the, this blitz. He's got to pick up the heat. That's been his main struggle so far uh, today in this LCQ tournament. 
It's going to be interesting to watch Fancy go to work in this one because we didn't really get to see his offense a whole lot. It was the defense making plays, short fields, touchdowns. We didn't really see a fleshed out offense from Fancy. Second and four, Eli dropping back, stepping up and sitting on down. As how about the pressure from Goldman up the middle? Yeah, good play design right there by Fancy. He looks like he had the drag, but he just got uh, uh, J. Wall's fortunate to get sheds up the middle right there. Big third and eight now. Look for him to go back to that slant post combo with some hitches. Exactly what he does. And he looks right side, diving play, and a nice catch by Marvin Harrison. That's the one difference between their wide receiving cores, TD. J. Wall running with John Ross. Fancy with the Colts legend, Marvin Harrison. Ready, ready. Yeah, a lot of route running with Marvin Harrison. He's got that ability to get, uh, he get, he can get open on uh, posts and corners a lot better with that ability, as you see there. Goes to that slant post combo. That, that, that route combo really stresses the user. You can't guard both routes with the user. When you're playing offense, that's the main thing you want to do. Quick throw to the flat this time. It's Hollywood Brown with the catch. So J. Wall drives down the field, puts a touchdown on the board. Now fancy. He's in business at the 48-yard line with Chris Johnson on his right hip. Let's see if he gets involved. He took the first carry of the game. He's going to take a carry here. Trying to find some room left side. He'll pick up four yards, set up a third and short. Good play call right there. I like that inside zone. Like I said, I want to see him utilize that a little bit more. Went with the swerve flat route to play before that. That's one of the most popular uh, concepts that Fancy likes to do. He likes to get his guys out in space, uh, click on swerve to get upfield. If there's no cover two, it can work every time. So great job right there. Let's see what he does on this big third and one. Well, how about on third and one? Adrian Amos gets into the backfield and drops him for an eight-yard loss, and you saw the look from Fancy. He goes, that was not what I was looking for on third down. He had that motion wheel route. He just couldn't get it off in time. j -Wall brought the heat, came clean off the right edge, and another huge stop for j -Wall here. As that punt out of bounds to the 12-yard line, and I mean, in, in these games, in the competitive Madden scene tie, a punt is as good as an interception because there just aren't that many opportunities where guys aren't going for it. Definitely, yeah. Punts, you know, we see a lot more punts this year than we have in years past. Jay Wall going to go to a little QB draw with Mike Vick here. It's not a run play we saw too often early. We, you, if you've been watching guys like DeKing who have been using the running quarterbacks, there's a lot of that heavy Panther, later that Taysom Hill package that Joke ran. Uh, at the at the clubs, you saw those packages. But I've been watching guys running with this Michael Vick, and that quarterback draw to that five wide is becoming more popular. Second and four, Vick trying to be conventional scramble, but he's gonna find no room up the middle. Yeah, he scrambled up the middle there. Looked like he had a little room, but kind of got a the, the fancy got a shed right there on his D lineman, able to get him for no yardage. See what J Wall goes to here. Look for maybe a halfback wheel. I think he's going to audible to bunch tight end. So we haven't seen a lot of bunch tight end from Jay Wall. Looks like he's going to go to the PA cross play, or he's going to audible back to trips. Yeah, so he's going back to what he's comfortable with. Look for another post slant combo, maybe verticals. He loves to play verticals here in trips tight end. Brown coming in motion from right to left. Timeout taken by Jay Wall. And honestly, Ty, I love seeing guys do that. You can't take those first half timeouts to the second half. You definitely cannot. Smart play right there by Jay Wall. Play clock clicking, uh, ticking down. So good, good, good uh, adjustment right there. You want to make sure you get your play off that you want to do. Plenty of time here. Use your timeouts. You want to get if you can get in field goal range at least, get points on the board, go up two possessions. That's all that matters right now. Your timeouts are not that important. They're down in five. Michael Vick with Raheem Mostert on his left hip. Hollywood Brown in motion from right to left. We're nearing the two-minute warning in the first half. j with a 7-0 lead. Can he pick up this first down? He looks to the flat. Hill takes a big hit right at the line to game, but they're going to give it to him. He just snuck over and picked up the first down. Big hit right there, but I love the play call by J-Wall. Great spacing on that field. He had the flat corner out combo, which he could have low-balled the corner out. Fancy saw that coming, so he went backside to that uh, whip route. He had the post over the top. Really a nice spacing concept over there, and he hits that whip route for a nice game with all that speed. Jamal said it was tough preparing for this tournament because he couldn't play a lot of games with his crew because they're all in the Xbox side. First and ten, and we see Fancy's defense getting involved. Pressure right side, able to.
to get to Michael Vick and bring him down for a loss of seven. And quickly back to the line is J Wall as we're under the 140 mark in the first half of the losers bracket final. And the Xbox side of the LCQ, Nick Mazesco, Ty Davis along with you. So happy to be hanging out with you this weekend. Second and 17, Vick stepping up left side. Ah, oh, you love the hit trout from J Wall. The hit trout master picking up a couple. <laughs> There's that row combo he loves. He goes to verticals with the sharp tight end corner route. He has the wheel coming up on that side as well. Then on the back side he has he has an out route to the far receiver and then a hitch and a curl. So it's just great space and concept. He goes that play probably at least 50% of the game. He loves it. I see him run that all the time. Picks up a nice little game there. Gives himself a decent third and 12. I think this is four down territory if he gains some yardage. But you also want to be careful. If, if, if he doesn't gain any yards here, you got to punt the ball. Come out of that trips tight end. Unfortunately, the tight end in this formation. John Ross over there. Vic looking left side, trying to find Tyreek Hill, but Marshawn Lattimore says, give me that, we're going the other way. At the 10, he's going to take a big hit at the seven yard line, but Fancy's defense stepping up, getting an interception of his own. What a change of momentum. Oh my goodness, Fancy clicks onto the crossing route, picks it off with Marshawn Lattimore. Great stick work. J Wall threw that a little too early. And Fancy, wow, what a big turnover. Fancy's defense has been phenomenal. He's just going to get something going here on offense. He's got a good chance now in the red zone. He has played one and a half games, almost six quarters, four interceptions defensively for Fancy's defense, and it's put him in great field position. He's going to come out that trip's tight end formation, but he's got Chris Johnson in the backfield. CJ 2K. He'll take that inside zone, trying to find some room. He'll get to the four yard line. And here's where it gets tough. You know, these guys have talked about their main priorities. was playing defense and also punching it in for seven when you get in the red zone. It's very difficult to do once you get down here. He stays in the shotgun. I'd like to see him maybe go to a couple, maybe some stretch or dive under center, but let's see if he goes back to inside zone. We might go to that verticals with the sharp corner row, maybe some hitches, the J-Wall, but he goes inside zone. He's inside zone, but J-Wall ready for it. You can see these guys, even though they're not technically in the same room, even though they're not sitting across from each other, they know exactly who they're playing, and J-Wall trying to stay fired up. Yeah, these guys know each other so well. They know what each other wants to do in the red zone. And now it looks like Fancy's thinking about what he wants to do here. It's a big play in the game. If Jay Wall can hold the three, it'll be a big stop because that pick was, was a dagger. But he's, if he's able to hold him, that's a great win for Jay Wall. Fancy's got to punch it in. It's a big play in the game, Nick. The first time we've seen Fancy in this game go under center. High formation. And he's going to hand it to Chris Johnson, dotting the eye, fighting through. Did he get there? They're going to say he stopped just short. And now decision time for Fancy. Here we go. Big play coming up. Fancy very upset with himself. Thought he could punch it in there. Kind of got an unfortunate uh, animation where he didn't really fall forward. And now what is the decision here? Fourth and one on the one-yard line. You're down seven. It looks like he's thinking about it. I think you got to go for this, Nick. I think you got to punch it in, uh, go, set your dominance go. in the game. Here we go. Here we go. Fourth and goal, and it, it it's really fourth and about eight inches. It is inside that one-yard line. He's using that entire play clock. He gets stopped, doesn't want to give the ball back with too much time. Play clock down to two. Manning hands it to Johnson, and he's into the end zone. The Titan legend is able to finally get to the house, and he's an extra point away from tying up this loser's bracket final. That was a huge play in the game. A big decision, because if he didn't score there, he's going to be in a tough spot. He goes with that uh, halfback dive alert bubble out of I-Form Twins. He's able to get it in with Chris Johnson. Jay Wall, that really is a dagger to his momentum, and a big drive by Fancy to come back. As Cribs will return this one to the 29-yard line. Let's take a look at this one more time. This is just pure blocking up front TD and Chris Johnson lowering his shoulder. Yeah, I do love the call. Just a little dive to get in there. You only need a yard. Did just enough. He had a free rusher coming off the edge, but he's able to punch it in with Chris Johnson. TD, I think the best part of that play, not only was the blocking up front and able to get in the end zone, but how about just the wherewithal to use that entire play clock and not give J-Wall a huge amount of time to drive back down the field and put points on the board. 
really worked out well for him. I mean, to use all that clock, get it down to about 20 seconds here now until halftime. I mean, uh, you know, it was a big decision on that fourth down. He probably would have liked to punch it in a little earlier just to, you know, feel a little better and not have so much anxiety. But he's able to punch it in, and he used all that clock. A great drive by Fancy. Oh boy, folks, not much more you can ask for from a, a, a battle, a competitive Madden game. We're all tied up, 16 seconds left in the first half, and Jay Wall back to work with Michael Vick at the helm. Can he get down the field, put a field goal perhaps on the board? Got no timeouts to work with. Dropping back only a three-man rush from Fancy. He'll take off with Vick and slide down at the 40-yard line. That clock's going to run. It looks like Jay Wall and Fancy are content to head to halftime all squared up. What a battle it has been here inside Pizza Hut Stadium in the first half, and we've got 10 minutes of game time to settle it. The TNC on TNC matchup is all tied up, TD. I mean, listen, we said these guys know each other well, and it's evident here. Yeah, did we expect anything else? I mean, very similar, uh, two of the best young stars, and, and this is what we thought was going to happen. 7-7 seven, seven, uh, into the half. No one's taking advantage. Wow, what a first half. Yeah, what a great first half we have had here. 7-7, seven, seven, your score. TD, do you feel like either player has a particular edge going into the second half? I think Fancy has the momentum. I mean, that first drop, that end of the uh, first half right there, where he's able to punch it down, use all that clock, not give J Wall any time. I think was a big momentum boost, and uh, this second half should be interesting. I think this is going to go down to the wire. J Wall with a strong first quarter, Fancy with the late interception to tie it up. Can't wait to see how this one's ends. Let's head back inside Pizza Hut Stadium and finish this bad boy out. Winner gets to take on Decroft in the final. They'll have to win twice against the defending Seahawks club champion, but first they got to get past this game. It's Jay Wall with the ball to start the second half. And we've seen Michael Vick use his legs quite a lot in the first half to a, a decent degree of success. He's motioning Brown from left to right now, back right to left. Raheem Mostert hasn't had a touch yet. He's on the left hip of Vick in the shotgun. Play clock down to six seconds and counting. And it's going to be Vic dropping back to pass. Three-man rush. He's going to look left side. Tight coverage, but Hill makes the catch. Avoids a hit stick and a little tightrope walk up the sidelines. Changes his name to one of the Walenda brothers as he gets all the way up past the 40. Great adjustment by Fancy right there. He manned up that slot receiver on the drag. Jay Wall was looking for a drag corner out combo uh, and able to see if it was Cloud Flats or Hard Flats. It was Cloud Flats, but Fancy made a phenomenal adjustment manning up that drag, but Jay Wall gets a lucky break. Kind of uh, broke off him with all that speed and is able to pick up a first down. First and 10 looking to the flat. Ooh, that was just a little bit of a late click on. It was that quick flat route to Hollywood Brown. He talked about the speed from Tyreek Hill. Coming out of the University of West Alabama, ran a 4-2-9-40 at the Combine. And he showed off every bit of that speed on that drag route. That's why these guys are using Tyreek Hill. Vic on second and eight. All the time in the world looking left side. Hill with the catch. He'll get near the first down marker. Uh, TD, Fancy's not bringing a whole lot of pressure. It's a lot of three-man rushes. Yeah, he's staying back in coverage. I want to see him kind of uh, mix it up and bring some heat. That kind of gave these guys trouble. Jay Wall went back to that hitch post combo, is able to go underneath the hitch. Big third and inches. Will we see an inside zone? Jay Wall doesn't have a great running back. He used that Raheem, Raheem Mostert, who is uh, lower cap than, than fancies Chris Johnson. So let's see if he stays to the air. Chris Johnson, 66 cap. Raheem Mostert, only 29. A lot of going into that Michael Vick as it's a throw to the flat. Oh, it's off his hands and almost picked off on the double deflection. The double doink off the hands. That's the second time we saw that in this game. We saw it earlier where Jay Wall threw the hitch and it bounced off his helmet and Fancy couldn't uh, com uh, catch it. And it happens again. Could have been a big play in the game. And now here we go, fourth and inches. If I'm Jay Wall, I'm going to just run inside zone here. But it looks like he's going to go to the air again. He's going to verticals. I see if Vic takes off to pick up the short. He's going to look left side, one-on-one -on -one coverage, click on and swap from Lattimore. And how about the stop from Fancy's defense to kick off the second half? Wow, it looked like J-Wall had a step with that Hollywood Brown. Fancy's able to click on 
and swat the ball. Huge play in the game, and now the momentum goes on with Fancy. We said in the end of the first half, you know, he looked great uh, using that clock, and here we go. Now he's in business, can take control of this game. First and ten for Fancy with Eli Manning at quarterback. And he's going to quick throw left side, and that is caught by Josh Cribbs. Remember Kent State, golden flash with the catch. And how about this? Talking with uh, J-Wall TD, he said he's really happy uh, that the tournament's being played online because he might not have been able to play. He's got finals this week he's prepping for. <laughs> it really worked out for J-Wall then, huh? I mean, yeah, so we'll see if he can advance. You know, like we said, we got he's got to face the winner of this, got to face Deprof and beat him twice in the next game. And now Fancy, you know, look like he's slowing the game down a little bit. I love the strategy. Use some of that clock. Let's see if he goes to the air here. He's going to flip his formation. But, yeah, I want to see Fancy try to get out of this third quarter, get the lead. I think we'll see maybe that slant post combo that these guys love so much. Well, hitch route left side. That's Brown with the catch. You got to wonder if J. Wall had, like, a chemistry book open with some route combos next to it. Like if he was doing the double duty studying with the LCQ and finals at the same time. <laughs> J. Wall, very smart kid. Goes to Boston University out here in Boston. Not too far from me. Over here on the East Coast, big second and seven now for Fancy. He's going to go to that motioned out flat route, I believe, and then have a uh, corner route. Look for a low ball out route or corner route here. Goes to the swerve flat. And big hit by the defense, able to put the like, a little bit of lumber out there. Home Depot may be closed right now, but the defense for J Wall still got a little bit of that lumber. And third and seven upcoming. Can J Wall get a clutch stop just inside field goal range? It'll be a 53 yard field goal from where he is right now. Go to the trips formation of motion. Marvin Harrison inside. Manning pressure off the edge. J Wall sends the blitz, and J Wall gets to the quarterback. Phenomenal situational football by J Wall. He brings the heat in a huge moment that he needed to. Fancy not expecting it, did not have a lot of protection back there, and J Wall gets off the field. Great defensive stand. How about the big play? You know, J Wall, you see him with the fist pump. He knows how clutch that was because not only did he get the stop TD, but the sack brought Fancy out of field goal range. Yeah, it was a huge play in the game. Fancy very upset with himself, as you can see, very distraught. And now Jay Wall going to have a chance here. I want, you know, that Vic hasn't done a lot for him. Let's see if he goes back to it. I think we're going to see a QB draw out of this empty bunch now. Vic dropping back. He'll go to the draw. He'll run left side. He's got some room. Picks up 15. Picks up near 20. Michael Vic, 39 yards on the day to add to his 6,100 yards he rushed for throughout his career. This is why he spent so much cap on him. Look at the stat guru, Nick Mazesco, knowing Mike Vick's career rush yardage. <laughs> but, yeah, great play right there by Jay Wall using that Vick. We want to see that a little more. He has all that speed. That's why you pay all that cap for him. Goes to him. Looks like, looks like he's going to go back to him again here with another draw. And he stayed right on the back side of his offensive lineman, fought through a tackle, and picks up another 15. And has Jay Wall found the key to his offense out of this five-wide quarterback draw. Looks like it. Nice little draw right there. Mixing things up, and he's in complete control now as we get into the end of this third quarter. Well, we, we start the fourth quarter, TD, the same way we started the third. It's still all tied up, but has momentum shifted a little bit to the side of J-Wall. Yeah, it looks like momentum in J-Wall's hands now, but this is a back-and-forth battle. No one wants to take advantage. No one wants to put points on the board. It's been a defensive struggle here in the second half, and like we said, it's going to go down to the wire here in the fourth quarter. I'm excited for it. Well, put your fours up in the chat. It is time for the fourth quarter presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh, no, no, no pressure. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers. TD, you can't ask for much more. We've got five minutes of gameplay left. We're heading to the fourth quarter. A date with D. Croft on the line, and we're all tied up. D. Croft got to be looking on right now, anxiously awaiting who it's going to be. Neither of these guys wants to take advantage. J. Wall in control now, moving the ball well, using that QB draw with Mike Vick. 
He's, let's see if he uses some clock here to try to uh, not give uh, Fancy a lot of time. He's got to get points on the board, though. Someone's going to take advantage. Someone's got to step up on the offensive side of the ball. Jay Wall's got some goons on the offensive line. His lowest rated offensive lineman is Kevin Zeitler at 87 overall. That tells you how beefy that O-line is with Mike Vick at quarterback. And we see more of the ground and pounder. Will he air it out? Let's see. He's going to let this clock run down. Second down and eight. Hollywood Brown in motion from right to left. Vic dropping straight back. Three-man rush. Stepping up, looking deep down the field. Diving play. Hollywood Brown, the Oklahoma Sooner. The Baltimore Raven with a big catch inside the red zone. Great dot by Jay Wall. He motioned over that post. Fancy did not have any speed enough to get back there with his linebacker. And a huge dot right there. Jay Wall in business now in the red zone, going back to the QB draw. Talked about how key red zone is for these two players. They both mentioned it. Can Jay Wall with Michael Vick find a way to the promised land? Changing up the formation, flipping it to the left side. Five wide receivers out there. Vic, quarterback draw, right side. And he's going to walk his way into the end zone. Michael Vick showing off the wheels, the offensive line, part in the Red Sea. And that's why you pay all that cap for Michael Vick, one of the Madden goats. And it pays dividends right there for Jay Wall. A huge touchdown, taking the lead. He's going to get back on defense now, where he's played phenomenal. Wow, what a drive by Jay Wall to answer, and he has all the momentum now. Is, is he just mugging to the camera? Is that what he's doing right now? I'll tell you, he knows every time he is on stream and every time he is on camera. As let's take a look at our Snickers replay, and it was all Michael Vick. A little shimmy shake, and the big thing, TD, he doesn't cut back inside towards the user. Yeah, great stick work. The Red Sea parted. He's able to cut in a little bit and then back outside. All that speed with Vic able to get in the end zone. Manning right side. A little slide in the play from Hollywood Brown. 3.18 to go. And TD, the, the momentum, it shifted a little bit back. And now Fancy's got to compose himself after that big first win and find an offensive drive. He needs to put six on the board with under three to go. He splits Brown out wide left. Eli Manning in the shotgun. Only a three-man rush from Jay Well, who floated out right side. Tyreek Hill with the catch short of the line to gain. Yeah, steps up in the pocket, throws that baby out row. If you're fancy, you've got to step up. A good friend in the community tells me you got to step up and make a memory. Ivy Strafen once said that. Let's see if Fancy can do it. He's got the post. Looking right side, has a man. Hollywood Brown, he's making plays for both teams. Diving catch and a first down for Fancy. Huge dot right there by Fancy. Goes with that slant post combo. We see so much from this tight slots. Fancy offense takes it to the two-minute warning. Huge dot right there. Jay Wall with not enough speed to catch him on the sidelines. You want your definition of a guap drive? Here it is. Two minutes left for a spot in the final. Fancy needs a touchdown to tie it. He's down 14 to 7. And a date with D. Croft in the final on the line. Manning dropping back on first and 10. He floats it up, flag down. It's picked off by Justin Reed. Let's see what the flag is, though. What's the call? It's going to be a hold. And we're going the other way. How about the play? TD Jaywall gets the interception and takes over. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what the call was going to be. Fancy kind of threw it up. Jaywall clicks on, makes the biggest play of the game. And now if you're Jaywall, you're in complete control. You got to use some of this clock. Wow. What a, what a, what a play in the game. Going to go back to the draw now with Mike Vick. I got to wonder. Is it possible? Did Fancy have aggressive blocking? How many times have you seen a holding call in competitive men, especially in this key situation? Yeah, I don't know what that was. It, it wasn't. It wasn't offensive pass interference, right? It was definitely holding on the on the offensive line. It, you never it was see holding that on the center Madden. Burke. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh man, if you're Fancy, you gotta be upset. But then again, it was a pick. He kind of threw that up. Thought he had him, and now here we go. Jay Wall looks like he's going to go to the air. Fancy's got to stand up for himself. He's got to get a stop. Got to wonder if Fancy thought he might have had a free play there, and that's why he threw it up. Second and 13. 
Vic stepping left, has a man downfield. That's Cribs trying to click on him, make the hit, but he makes the catch at the 44-yard line. Does step out of bounds, though, and stops the clock. Wide open dot, put him on the crosser route, gets on the sidelines. But if you're fancy, he did get out of bounds, so you still have a chance. Now you got two timeouts, the clock has stopped. Jay Wall is going to go to the ground here, look for an inside zone. Fancy's got to hold him. He cannot give up another first down. Raheem Mostert with the carry. How about the interception from Justin Reed, the 23-year-old Houston Texan? He's a guy who's on a lot of these players' ultimate teams because, TD, he's got a lot of speed and he's got great hands. Yeah, Justin Reed has a lot of good height, a lot of speed, one of the best players in Madden. And uh, you can lurk with him, you can play zone with him. He's really one of the best players you can get in this salary cap mode. J-Wall now going to go to the air on second and eight. Risky play, oh, and the defense is able to bring down Vic in the backfield. Forces Fancy to use his final timeout. Life on the line, third and nine. Can Fancy find a way to stop J-Wall and give himself one more chance to tie this ball game up? Trips to the right side. Here it is. on the left side of the tight end position. Vic dropping back, stepping up, and sitting down. It's the pressure from Fancy as we get to hear from Daniil Hunter, the Minnesota Viking. He had 14 and a half sacks last season. He might have had the biggest one so far. Okay, Fancy, I see you. He stands up for himself in the biggest play of his Madden season. He stays alive to get into that Madden Bowl. What a defensive stand, brought the heat. And Jay Wall cannot get the pass off. And Fancy's going to have a chance now. He's going to have about a little less than a minute, around 45 seconds. No timeout. It's going to be very difficult. Let's see if he can cook something up. In the word of Drake, oh, you Fancy, huh? Does Fancy have himself a guap drive in him? He's going to have no timeouts. And doing my quick math, at around 50 seconds, 50 two seconds or so to get down the field. But TD, if there's something we have seen from Fancy this entire second half of the year, it's he can dial up some quick offensive drives. He definitely can. He's one of the most prolific passers we have. It's going to be difficult. 39 seconds with no timeouts. Is the kid clutch? Can he cook, cook something up? 51 seconds on his own 19. This is a very difficult situation. He needs seven, not three. But if, if, if there's anyone out there that can do it, it's this kid on offense. Brown with the catch. Did he get out of bounds? Nope, the clock's going to continue running. Fancy. 82% of his touchdowns have come via passing. He led all LCQ players this weekend in scoring with 21.1 points per game. He's only got seven on the board, so he needs to make up some of it here. Second and five. Down under 20 seconds. Manning looking right side. Diving catch by Hill, but he stays in bounds. And that clock's going to keep rolling. He's going to have to spike the ball. Did he get it off? He did. One second left, TD. One play to tie the ball game up. Here we go, his Madden season on the line. One second, he wouldn't be here if he didn't have a play for one second, but let's see. This is very difficult if you're fancy. He might need to go to Hail Mary. He might just, he's gonna hand it off. It looks like and try to make a play with Chris Johnson. And we saw Volterax do this in the club championship. Can fancy do it? No. How about the defense from Jay Wall? He needed 60 yards, he lost four. And just like that, Jay Wall, he will move on to the finals. He's got to beat D. Croft twice, 14 to 7. TD, what a win. And we've got a great battle coming up in the final. Congratulations to Jay Wall. What a defensive performance. Fancy really struggled uh, today on offense. It kind of cost him, and Jay Wall's going to advance to play D. 